I had to, I had to delete days. your sinister laugh. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with my laugh? Have you heard your laugh? Yeah, but it's not like that. That's like Dude. that's like like you burn someone's house down. And you're like walking away. And you're like, <laughs> what is the very first drifting video you ever watched? Dude, it's like kind of unfortunate to say because like I'm embarrassed of it now. But when I saw it originally, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And it was when Mighty Car Mods did the unveiling of that like matte green like S13 that they built, like the 180SX. Here's the drifting, and it's like really mid. Wasn't this car black originally? Yeah, and it looked like pretty okay. Yeah. They have a guy in a pig suit drifting. It was a terrible first drift video. Ooh, I thought right. it was really cool. Like I definitely, like like I said, I was 17, so I didn't know anything. And like them just like building a car, I thought was like the coolest thing I'd ever seen. It was just like two friends making a car into something it wasn't originally, and I thought that was nuts. And then seeing it like, you know, slide around on a track. I was like, this this crazy. I've never seen anybody do this before. So what what was your first drift video then? I think, that, I honestly, I think that everyone probably saw this video at some point in time. <laughs> this car swapped to a Jay-Z, but this, I guess this is SR. <laughs> cool last video though, I feel like. So how, how old were you when you first saw this video? I don't know. That was, this is 12 years ago, I think. You must have been the same age as me watching Mighty Car Mods. Yeah. Like 18. Like, yeah, 18 yeah. years old, something like I that. I was 18. We don't even know if this is gonna end up being a video. We're just hanging out at the warehouse. We got a photo shoot. Dylan and I, as we've mentioned so many times before, started as photographers. We were photographers before we did Checkpoint. So uh, Dylan has a shoot book with a buddy of ours named Greg who's got a really nice R32 GTR that he's just finished. And it's kind of rare to see people still have cars like this on the road at this time of the year in Canada. So it's kind of a nice treat that his car just got out of paint and body and it's got the wheels on, and the engine's running good, everything's nice. So four photographers now. Dude, I don't even have my Unite. camera. I don't even have my camera, but I'm I'm in this bitch. Dude, do you have a camera it. right there? Dude, that's true. I can bring the 6D. Bring it. The weapon. We will. I will. Off camera. They say men only want one thing in life and it's disgusting. Ferrari F40 Rambos. <laughs> This is the spot that Dylan and I picked for this photo shoot because as you can see, it's like massive and empty and it definitely kind of looks like a parking area in Japan. Oh, that's sick. It's like, uh, it's sick. Like, it's sick because you could probably do rolling shots here too. Like it's so wide, like. Yeah, we're going to shoot Greg's GTR, waiting for the sun to come down a little bit. It's like foggy and like really esky looking right now. So I think it's actually going to be like perfect, perfect scenario for some nice photographs dude oh yeah dude oh yeah that looks good that light but yeah it's been like it's probably been about a year since i've actually gone out and shot photos which is kind of sad also like this is just our shop camera not my camera but this is like the camera that i was using when i first started photography it's a canon 6d so it's like pretty old but it's still an absolute unit and i don't know i feel very inspired right now like i feel like it's bringing back a lot of memories a lot of nostalgia it's like freezing cold outside and shooting a skyline i'm using a clunky old camera like i don't know i feel like it's 2017 again officer or CBSE right there. I think he's just checking up on us, but. Perfect. I mean, those guys are usually just like giving out tickets to like truck drivers and stuff for being like overweight and whatever, but they do have the ability to give you a VI, which is like the Vancouver version of a California state ref. It's where they tell you your car is no good and they take your car off the road, so. Man, these are like the moments in photography where it feels like photography on easy mode. Cause you've got a photogenic car that looks good from every angle. You've got new concrete that has like no imperfections, it's super dark, so the contrast is crazy. Dude. This is, this is like a behind the scenes of like 
what Dylan and I used to do all the time before Checkpoint was even an idea. The original owner of this car here in Canada had LMGT1s on it and like some scumbags like jacked the car up, ripped the wheels off, left it on the ground. So he promised the guy that he bought it from that this car would end up on LMGT1s. The brakes in there are uh, Ferrari F40 Brembos, which Greg was telling us is like kind of like a GTR old head secret that like running F40 or F50 Brembos is like a thing that GTR guys in like the 90s and early 2000s were doing. So yeah, it's kind of a cool flex like telling people you have F40 brakes. This N1 wing that's actually been blended to the car. It makes the rear end of this car look so like fresh and clean because like, you know, the back end of a car like this has a lot of gaps, like the gap between the trunk and the quarter panel, the gap between the trunk and the tail lights. And then normally there'd be a big, long, obnoxious gap right there, but this has had it blended over. So it looks super clean, really like tidies up the back end of this car. The car's actually got R uh, R33 GTR seats in it, Series 2 ones with red stitching. This used to be you, 6D, oh, and now you big dog. We are big dog. R5. Now we're here. We got uh, we got Greg's office in view here. Ooh, Another one. These are sick. I like the low light. Ooh, that's sick. Oh, is that got a really good yeah, yeah, what, what are you, what are you <laughs> doing with that? <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. that knee <laughs> My goal for the car is like period correct, but with modern technology to make it run and drive like a modern car. Basically. Yeah, not on a PEX FCE. Yeah. <laughs> How much gas is it getting? I don't know. I can play Tetris though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, was, obviously it works. It smells like gas and it works. It goes fast. It's a, uh, oh yeah, you don't have a cracked block so it works. Yeah. Yeah. It's, good. it's getting oil. That's yeah. good. Yeah. That's um, new. Uh, on pump gas, $4.99 to the wheel. Um, that's at 16 pounds boost, and then uh, we did like an E20 blend, and it made probably put a bunch of the photos or whatever at the end of this video which would be cool um, thank you for watching this week's video is kind of a quick one we've been pretty busy with uh, shop stuff and Sanders getting ready to go off to Los Angeles to film uh, non Surrey there so next week's video will probably be non Surrey after movie which should be super dope and then after that we're probably gonna reveal to you what we ended up buying as our new car but yeah thank you guys for kind of checking out this video and seeing what Dylan and I do in our spare time and taking people out and going and shooting cool photos of cars. If you're watching this video, that means two days ago we did our latest drop of JDM inventory and there's a bunch of good stuff in there that you should definitely get for yourself or as a Christmas present for somebody else who you love. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you hit subscribe if you wanna see more content like this and uh, leave a comment. comment. It definitely helps us fight the battle against the algorithm.